All right, let's discuss about array methods. So on LWC, we have several common array methods or functions that we will be using. So on this particular video, we are going to discuss about map, filter, every, sort, reduce, and for each. Now, before we dive in, let's get used to writing the syntax of the array methods um, syntax. So please follow along. So we're going to write this five time. Okay. So the syntax is array dot method name. And then you use your brackets there. Okay. Inside the brackets do function. And then you go brackets again. And then you use the curly brackets after the normal brackets like that. And you hit enter. Okay. So the function accepts three arguments, which is the current item, the index of the array, and the array itself. So this is how you do it. Now, before we move on, I want you to write this along with me. Let's do five times. So we have done one. So four more times. Okay. So you're used to the syntax. Otherwise, it's kind of confusing when just when you just look this with your eyeballs and then you say, Oh, where is the brackets? Where is the curly brackets? How do you write that? <laughs> it's confusing. Okay. So let's do it again. Array dot method name. Okay. And then you do your normal brackets and then you do function inside that you do normal bracket and then you do curly bracket afterward like that and you hit enter so then your code runs here you just write your code there but the function except three arguments the current item index and the array itself i will explain what these are but let's get used to writing this first okay three more times array dot method name do that normal brackets and inside it you do the function normal brackets and then curly brackets afterward right and then you do the code here and this function accepts three parameters the current item the index of the array and the array itself two more times so array dot method name and then you do the normal brackets like so and then you do function and you do normal bracket and then curly bracket and your codes run in between here right and this accept three arguments current item index and the array itself one more time last time array dot method name brackets and then function brackets and then curly brackets and then boom three three parameters current item index array okay so you're not confused right so that's how you do the syntax and then you can write your code in between here okay before i go and explain the first method which is map you have to finish this off. You have to. Okay. I don't want you to get overwhelmed when I start re, um, going through this and then you don't even know how to read the whole thing. Okay. So let's clear this out. Do it your own now. Okay. Do it. Now you have to be doing it. Now say you're done. You have to pause it and do it or even do it along with me when I was doing that. So now let's do the map. So. Uh, for example, let's do just a random uh, number, okay? So let's declare a variable or an array. Let um, numbers equal, this is an array, just some random number to, oops, 2, 5, 7, 8, whatever, 9. Okay, so this is the just a regular array, right? Now we want to transform this or yeah to map this 
into a whole different set of numbers. Say I want to times this uh, with with two. So I want this to become four, ten, fourteen, sixteen, and eighteen. Okay. So now I'm gonna map it. So let's do this. Let new numbers equals okay. Um, numbers dot map okay and then you do this right and then you do function you do normal bracket you do curly bracket and you enter here now this function accept three argument current item index and the array itself so what is this three parameters or arguments the current item is the items or the values of the each of the array we are looping through or we are passing through so the current item would be like two five seven eight nine right the index is the array index so this one is zero index one two three four okay the array is this whole thing is the array itself we don't really use this a lot but in case you need it you need it for your code you can have that and you can work on the array within whatever you're coding in here so let's console.log this if i say console.log and let's use the string interpolation here the current item uh, current item is dollar current item okay if i save that and i flip back to my code here and i refresh boom so current item is two five seven eight nine right so it's just passing whatever value is in the array it's going to print that okay um is in index is in index and then index the index of the array which is 0 1 2 3 4 okay i'm going to save that and flip back here boom so current item is 2 is in index 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 what is this for well, you can use it for your code, whatever you want to code in between. So if you want to access the index of the second element, which is this, and this is the value is 5, which is the current item, the index is 1. You can do whatever you want here, okay? And from the array, dollar array, which is the whole thing here. Okay, I'm just going to show you how it passes values into this uh, section of code there refresh from the array the whole array okay so that's how it pass um, the values onto this function and then you can code stuff within your function so what's the point so the point is uh, let's get into a real situation here okay now the purpose of a map is for you to be able to change or transform this original array into the new array to map it so to speak so i'm going to return the array but i'm going to mani manipulate it so current item times two so now these new numbers will be transformed from this to this times 2 meaning 4 10 14 16 and 18 let's print that so console.log um, new numbers okay which is this one right so i'm going to save that and flip boom so it's double right 4 10 14 16 18 okay you got it this is a bit abstract so i'm gonna take this out let's play with a real example say for example in salesforce we have a price okay let price 
this is an array of a price. For example, we collect this price from Salesforce records. We put it into an array and we say the price we have is $100, uh, $250, $579, $2,000, $5,000, and $7,500. So we have an array of price. Now, we want to return a map price or a new price, but we want to apply a discount if the price is more than $2,000 or more than 1000 the discount is 10%, more than 5000 uh, 5, and above, the discount is 20%, um, and 7,000 and above, the discount is 30%. That's the new price or discounted price, okay? So if I say let discounted price, okay, equals price dot map, you do that, remember the syntax, and then you do function, and then you do brackets, and then you do curly brackets, oops, like that, and then you code in between the curly brackets. Now here we have the current item and then the index and the array itself. Well, we're not going to use these two. We're just going to use the current item. Okay, so now we're going to make a new array with the discount applied. Okay, with the discount applied. So I'm going to do an if. If current Let's just make a one one tier discount. So I am just not wasting your time just to create an example. So I'm just gonna do if it's more than one thousand dollars, we have ten percent discount. Okay. So if current item is more than one thousand dollars, okay, and current item or return what we want to return back. To the to the discounted price return current item minus right 10 percent so 0 0.1 which is 10 percent times current item okay so if the if the current item which is the price right is it's going to go past the value of these prices right so basically, if the price, the current item, is greater than $1,000, return the current item minus 10%. Okay? 10% discount times current item. Else, if it's not, just return the, the original price. Return current item. So no discount. So now, if I print... Or not print console.log um, price. This is the original price. Okay. And then console.log um, discounted price. You will see the discount. So this is how it's applied, how you can use the map application. A very simple example, but you can. You can code however you want to code uh, with map. However you want to map the new array from the original array, okay? If I flip back and refresh this, you can see. So, 100, no discount. 200, no discount. 450, no discount. 575, 579, no discount. 2000, 10% discount, which is 200, right? So, it becomes 1800 bucks. 5000. 10% discount, $500, so 4500 7500 10% discount, minus $750, $6750. So that's how you can apply the map methods on um, LWC. Okay, you got the idea? Now let's move on. Okay, N next is our filter um, function. Okay, let's keep the price there. Let's keep playing with this price, okay? Um, okay, so we have the price, right? 
uh, let's change the let's not an opportunity uh, let's make it an opportunity usually in salesforce we play lots with opportunity let's opportunity amount okay so from this amount of opportunities in the array the amount of the opportunity we want to filter out just the high opportunities just the the ones that above um, 2000 uh, that's above one thousand dollars okay so let's make a new um a new array let um high opportunity opportunity amount just a high high value one okay equals opportunity amount dot filter our method okay and then you brackets and then you put function brackets curly brackets enter you code in between so the function passes current item passes the index and passes the array so we don't have to use this so if you don't want to pass this current item is fine like that whatever you want to pass along if you don't need the index on your code you don't have to pass the index if you don't use if you're not going to use the array you don't have to pass the array so i'm just going to use current item okay so what do we, what do we want to do here we want to filter out uh, we want just we want just the high opportunity the high amount ones we don't care about the small ones for example i want to see just the high opportunity amount okay so let's uh, make return only if the current item is greater than 1000 so you filter it return only if the um, value or the current item here is greater than 1000 then it will return 2000 5000 and 7500 so if i console.log interpolation here um, high value opportunities today whatever right dollar current item no 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 <laughs> my bad that's all wrong so we want to print the high op amount that's an array that's fine i'm just going to print the array out save 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 come on salesforce still trying to save hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom